So I bought myself a couple spare tire holders for my dump trailer. Let's go ahead and take these things out of the box and put them on the trailer so we can check them out. All right, so here's one of the spare tire holders out of the box. These are the stake pocket type spare tire holders. I wanted something where I could put it on and keep it there as long as I wanted, but if I needed to move it for any reason, I wanted it to be easy to move. So this one is as simple as it comes with this bolt here and this little plate, and it basically goes into this bolt hole right here and acts as the nut for the bolt, and you just tighten that down. And then these are the bolts that hold the tire on, and they've got these little square holes here that work with the carriage bolts. And then of course, you know, it's got the instructions. So I've heard really good things about these types of spare tire holders. I actually had a spare tire holder on my trailer and it broke. So I'm not interested in using that same type of spare tire holder I had before. So I wanted something like this and this looks pretty heavy duty. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with this. Let's go ahead and mount this thing up though so we can see how it looks. All right, so here's the spare tire holder put on my trailer. I put it in the stake pocket here. I did not tighten it down mainly because I wanted to show you. So basically this is the long bolt that goes in the bottom of this spare tire holder. And you're gonna basically just tighten this bolt all the way up into the spare tire holder. And this plate is gonna hold this nice and sturdy. So get it where you want it. There is a little bit of space or play in the pocket here because it probably has to accommodate, you know, slight variance in the size of these pockets. But you should be able to just tighten this thing up and that should tighten up well. And then of course, on the main plate here, it's got these different holes and those are so you can accommodate different size wheels and lug patterns. So my trailer has eight lug because these are 7,000 pound axles. So it said put the bolts in these two holes here and that should accommodate my wheels with no problem. But if you have other lug patterns and different types of wheels, it should be able to accommodate pretty much everything out there up to eight lugs. And then it comes with either just two nuts or two lug nuts. Now I did test these lug nuts here against the studs on my trailer and they do not line up, but you know, that's fine. I really wasn't expecting them to. They will work with these studs or bolts here. And then I'll just have some spare lug nuts in the toolbox in case I lose any or anything like that. But yeah, I think this is gonna work out really well. I'm gonna put the tire on now. All right, and there it is installed. You wanna see here is what it looks like back here in the back. It does stick off just a little bit. So, you know, you might wanna measure that out and make sure if you have any specific things you gotta do legally on that. Sorry for the rain in the video. It's raining a little bit right now. And then you can see the other one on the other side there because I'm gonna have two spare tires for this trailer. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all take care.